All right. Same thing, and I apologize. It just seems directed. I'm not going to go through every single photograph. Um, you know, just to spare everyone from having a look at this specific part of this photograph again, I'm going to cover a part of it. But, um, you recognize what part we're talking about here, right? Uh, right next to the computer tower with the blood spatter on it. Okay, and this is Jennifer's arm right here? That's correct. Okay, this rag right here, um, that rag had been moved by the responding officer. Correct. Right? And so initially it was actually underneath Mr. Wilson's head or near it, right? It was. And it had been kind of pushed over closer to Miss Kane. Correct. Okay. going to move on to the photographs of apartment number two. That's again where Jody sees on Brian, Brian Greenwell lived, right? Correct. And these photographs were taken actually several weeks later, right? Which photographs? Uh, you know I would have said all of them, but I'll show you one. This photograph, for example, was taken yes. on June 2nd or June 3rd, right? Correct. On or about June 2nd. <clears throat> And um, this is the couch, or the right here. This is this is a spot that you thought maybe could have been blood, right? Correct. <clears throat> and of course, these are the soda cans that they were discussing with the fingerprints, right? Correct. And. Those fingerprints came back for Brian Greenwell, right? That is correct. And just to clarify, this was Brian Greenwell's apartment. It is. Okay, here's a better picture of that spot on the couch, right? Yes, ma'am. And you're aware that that was sent to a serolo uh, serologist for analysis, right? I am. And you're aware of the results of that analysis? I am. Right. And so you're aware this was found not to be blood, right? Correct. Right. Thanks, sir. Okay. And what right here is, is this found inside this trash can? Uh, it looks like a box of hair color. Okay. And in this trash can, these are latex gloves, right? Yes. 
And in fact, these latex gloves were collected as an exhibit, right? Correct. They were also sent for a serological analysis, right? That's correct. And they were found not to have blood on them? Correct. This is um, the chamber of the shampooer, right? Correct. Okay. And this was not sent for a ballistics examination, was it? No, it was not. Okay. And in fact, there wasn't even a closer picture that was taken? No. Okay. So you weren't actually able to determine whether or not that's bullet hole? No. Uh, so it could just be a hole or a defect, right? It could. Apologize again for showing everyone this picture a second time. It's the last one. Okay, you spoke briefly about this area right here, right? Correct. And you said that um, that's blood spatter, right? Okay. And you said that um, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that you said that if she, if it was on a wall, we might have been able to determine she was standing. Is that correct? Correct. Um, and this obviously is <laughs> not on a wall, right? Um, but looking at that, you're not able to determine that she wasn't standing, right? Looking at this? Yes. This blood's better right here. On this, right next to her head. That's directional nature from her head at that level. I can tell you she was not standing up. Can you close that flap unless you're going yes, to use it? Thank you. I apologize. If you want to come back over, I'm not going to mind you. Kind of getting used to it up here. Actually, you know what? Let's go back very briefly. So, most of those photographs we just looked at, that's from the first month of the investigation, right? Roughly, yes. And in that month, you and your team are securing the scene, right? And, and interviewing witnesses, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Yeah, specifically. Yeah. Um, so you, this is where you kind of request what it is that you're looking for, right? right? Okay. And here, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read it. This says um, you're looking for a clinical forensic examination with written and photographic documentation of a list of person's entire body, right? Um, including, I'm not gonna read the rest of it. Any. Um, basically any indication of birthmarks, injury, scarring, anything like that, just the whole body, right? Okay, um, the next sentence there, you say um, this to include review of medical records and radiographs, right? Correct. And so what that means is you're asking that when this warrant be executed, um, the person who conducts the forensic examination familiarize themselves with Mr. Wilson's medical records and radiographs, right? Correct. Um, you also request as part of this examination um, the collection of <clears throat> a urine sample and two blood samples, right? Correct. you're aware that this was executed, right? It was. And that forensic examination was done by, by medical person, right? Yes. Okay. of medical staff in terms of what they were looking for on Jennifer Payne, right? Medi what medical staff are we speaking of here? Mm -hmm. um, an autopsy was done on Jennifer Payne, right? Correct. And um, as part of that autopsy, you asked the medical examiner to look, or to look for certain things, right? And to collect certain evidence. Yes. Um, and you're aware that part of that included the collection of fingernail clippings, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And um, is that a routine request that is made in a case that is being investigated for a homicide? The fingernail clippings? Yes. Yes, it is. And why is that? Uh, potential DNA evidence can, can be lodged. Speak up? I'm sorry. Potential DNA evidence can be lodged beneath the fingernails. Um, and the reason why one might expect to find evidence underneath the fingernails is because there could be physical contact between an individual and another individual, right? Contact, yeah. And so one of the things you're looking for is evidence of a struggle, right? For what are we talking about here? When you're, when you're collecting someone's fingernail clippings, one of the things that you're looking for when you collect that sample is to see if there was physical contact or a physical struggle between the deceased individual and anybody else, right? Yeah, as I say, we're looking for DNA evidence beneath the, the, na the nails. Okay. Um, okay, let's turn to your interview with Mr. Wilson. You testified that um, he wasn't able to speak, right? Correct. So you all basically devised a way to communicate non-verbally. Right. Yes. Okay. And um, during your interview, for lack of a better way to frame it, you basically had to ask closed-ended questions, right? I did. So yes or no questions. Yes. Because he he couldn't give you much words. Yeah, right? He could not expand upon anything. It, was, okay. it had to be a yes or no answer. So he couldn't give you a why for anything, for example, right? If I asked a specific question, 
as to why something that is this why. So during your interview, you had to kind of go through sometimes several different questions in order to get a yes or a no, right? Yes. Okay. Um, at times, Mr. Wilson was able to mouth certain words, right? Correct. And um, I think you testified on direct that um, he had indicated that uh, Ms. Cecil and Mr. Greenwell were responsible for the shooting, is that? Yes. Okay. Um, it's also true that he, he actually indicated that a third person named Chris was responsible, right? That is true. And he, he actually mouthed the word Chris, right? You didn't have that name. I'd have to see it again, but I, I do recall Chris being in the interview. Okay, so he, he actually indicated more than once that there was a third person present, right? Correct. Okay. And you all never found an individual named Chris in connection to this investigation, right? No. Okay, and no individual named Chris was charged, right? No. Or interviewed. Actually, I know there was another, <laughs> there was another person. Um, there was a Christopher Dutton that was interviewed, right? That is correct. But that person was determined to, to not be involved in this. Correct. Okay, and you had no reason to believe that Chris, Christopher Gutman was the Chris that Mr. Wilson was discussing here. Or no. Indicating. Okay. <clears throat> and do you recall, actually, just give me one moment. You asked Mr. Wilson several questions about what led up to um, these individuals being in this apartment that day, right? I did. Okay. Your Honor, and may we approach? 